I grabbed one basket and 10 of these wooden pieces. I set to work staining them using these easy staining cloths. Once they were dry, I set up two of the wooden pieces vertically and then I added the rest of my wooden pieces horizontally. Use some one inch nails and put those in place. I had purchased these four inch house numbers. I nailed these into place. The next thing I did to finish it up was to add some pretty flowers. Pick up two matching plastic pots from Dollar Tree. Drill holes into the bottom of each for drainage. Then use some hot glue to glue them together. Pick up some of this rope. Use it with hot glue and coil it around. I'm choosing to create an oval. You could also create a circle depending on the space. I used seven coils of jute. Grab the tumbling tower game from the toy section. You can leave these as is. I chose to add a light stain to mine. I'm creating a flat base with four of the blocks. Glue them together with wood glue so they really hold up. Then I'm gonna add legs to the outside. I've created a couple different heights with the legs. Grab a Dollar Tree solar light and one of those tall glass vases. Put the base of the solar light into the vase and then fill around it with some decorative stones. Remove the top of a solar light and wrap some floral wire around it to create a swing. Place this inside a paper lantern. Grab a few small clay pots, place a solar light into the middle and fill around it with stones to hold it in place. Grab a larger planter, place a few solar lights in it, and then fill around it with rocks. I had a very old and large flower pot, so I started with some Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color cement. Decided to add a gingham ribbon. Now these flower pots are really large, and it takes a lot of soil sometimes to fill these up. Grab some pool noodles. Cut the pool noodles into small sections. Place all of these sections into the flower pot and it takes a little bit of arranging to get them into the flower pot the way you want them to look. You could stop here or I'm going to add a pizza pan to the top of the pool noodles. The water will be able to drain around the outside edge. I add some soil to the top of the pizza pan and then it's time to plant my flowers. I'm going to grab me some solar lights. Next, head over to the hardware store. I'm going to grab me about 100 feet of nylon rope. First thing I got to do is blow up this dollar beach ball. Then I got to get out some Portland cement. Make sure it's not concrete, but cement. You want it actually really thin because we need to coat that rope. Now, on that beach ball, just start laying that rope. You're just going to start roping it all the way around. Once you get to the end, what you're going to do is tuck that last bit in underneath the rope. It's going to hold it in place. Then what we can do is move on to possibly adding a little bit more cement. Make sure you cover all that rope. We want it to stiffen up as best we can. Let it sit for a couple hours once we get it covered. Once it's covered, take a knife and just puncture the beach ball. Once we get it all the air out, just go ahead and pull it through one of the bigger openings between the ropes. Now, I wanna clean it up, took a little bit of a plastic fork and just clean up the edges. Don't want anything flaking off. Take a squirt bottle and start squirting all the string and you're just gonna powder it with the cement. Just keep doing that all over. What this does is make it thicker and strengthen it up. We're gonna grab that dollar light again. Take out the bottom part. You're gonna turn it around Put it in and that's what's going to stick into the ground go ahead and put it right into the ground right in the area you want to put it and then you're going to take your string orb and you're going to put it right over the light right in the middle and lay it on down i have got these melamine plastic plates i just picked up at the dollar store i've also got a couple of these larger silver colored plates that's isopropyl alcohol i've just cleaned the plate with that i'm going to take a little bit out of alcohol here. I'm just going to squirt it onto the plate. And then I've got these really lovely, I'm just going to drop a little bit on here. And I'm just going to move this around a bit to start with. Alcohol on there. There we go. Here we go. A little bit more of that. You can use a hairdryer or a heat gun. I'm just going to go around and around in circles and just see if we can get some nice kind of edges. Okay, now because this is alcohol ink, I'm actually going to seal it with this Kmart varnish. The second version that I'm going to do on these little plates is I'm actually going to use these stick and style stencils. This I've already coated with a second coat of paint. Okay, let's take this stencil off and see how it looks. Our third technique that we're going to create on these plates is going to be, we're going to go full Jackson Pollock. Next up, we're going to use this silver bullet, exactly the same. We can do that on one of our smaller plates. 
So I picked up a couple of these dollar store solar lights and I'm gonna take them apart. I just need that kind of crystal plastic part and the top. So I'm gonna cover the light bulb on the bottom and then I'm gonna cover the solar panel on top and then use a craft knife to cut around it so you get perfectly straight lines. This is a seven inch basic embroidery hoop. So I'm gonna untwist this screw and put that aside. I'm taking them outside and I am adding a couple coats of a matte black spray paint. Make sure they're fully dry to the touch and now we can assemble. So first we wanna remove the painter's tape so that these solar lights work. On the clear plastic part, there are two little clips that help attach it to the top. And I'm just gonna take some floral royer and wrap it around each one of those clips. Wrap it nice and tight so it hugs the plastic closely. And then I'm able to screw the black part back on top and the wire is still gonna hang out either side. I picked this chain up at the craft store. It is actually in the jewelry section. I'm gonna thread the chain through the screw and tighten it about halfway. The solar light is going to hang from the inside hoop. So I'm just gonna use my floral wire and wrap it around that hoop. Now I can put this middle hoop, the smaller hoop, back inside the larger one. Now once everything's in place, I can tighten this screw. I have this area in the front of my house that I wanna beautify. So I grabbed a bowl from the Dollar Tree and put it over to make sure it fits. Then I went to Home Depot and grabbed some spray foam. Next, what I'm gonna do is put the bowl down on a garbage bag and I'm gonna grab the spray foam and start covering all the bowl up. And we're gonna go layer over layer. Now, this took about three cans, but I wanna make sure before I put the next layer on, that's a little bit dry to the touch. Once you get it on, you wanna give it about 24 hours. The next step is we gotta carve the foam. Now, you're gonna shape this all over. Next step, I'm gonna pour some water into a bucket. I'm using Cementol. What we're gonna do is mix it you want to be able to shape it and use it almost like a clay on top of the foam. Go ahead and just start adding it to the foam and just keep smoothing it on. For the second layer, I made it a little more runny. Just go ahead and smooth it in. If it looks a little rough, you can grab a chip brush, dip it in some water, and then you can start smoothing out the concrete that you put on. Now let it dry, and then I took some black paint, watered it down, and I'm gonna add a little bit of color to the rock. So I'm gonna add some brown to it also. You can go with any color you want. Now I'm ready to cover up the pipe that I wanna have hidden. Headed down to a local Dollar Tree. I'll grab some rope, some clear bottles, and some cool little lights. Just take the hook off the top of the light. Next, we're gonna take the bulb off. Next, we need to take the actual light mechanism and pop it out. What we need to do is paint this cover. Now on the bottle, we have a cork here. We can go ahead and just remove that. Next, I grabbed off of Amazon a bottle cutter. Put the bottle on the rollers, and you go ahead and start turning it. What you wanna do is hear this noise. That means you're cutting right through the bottle, but it won't cut all the way through. I'm gonna show you a little cut line on there. Stick the bottle in the boiling water for a good 30 seconds. Once you got it in there and it's heated up, immediately go ahead and put it in the icy cold water. It's gonna separate along the score line and look at that, perfect. Takes off the bottom and you got a nice, flat, smooth line. Put the lights back through our painted cover and clip it back on. Take some E6000 glue and place it around the edge. Take some hot glue and put it in the areas I didn't put the E6000 on. That's gonna hold the cover in place while the glue is dry. I'm gonna stick the lights inside the bottle, set the cover on top, then we're gonna take that rope, stick some hot glue on the neck of the bottle, let that hold, and then we're gonna start wrapping it all the way around the neck. And then take this extra twine, we're gonna put it through the hook. I made three of these and we put them up, 